Hi, Anna, and everyone listening to these great conversations. Um, sorry, I laugh because this is probably about the seventh take I've tried. <laughs> this really isn't as easy as you all make it look when I see your videos. Um, okay, so my name is Anita. I am 55, I live in Cumbria. I am an emotional freedom technique practitioner and for most of my adult life, however, I have been a home educating mum. Um, I was drawn to make these, this video because I suppose I've just come to the point where I've gathered quite a lot of information. A lot of it is scary, whatever we're being presented with. And I felt like I needed to come to a point where I could um, do some practical things to try and help navigate my way through all this really and I suppose it's just a way of, of sharing sharing that if this is um, the right platform to do that. Um, I think it I have felt it's been really important to inform myself I've really and I have relished a lot of what I have found and whilst sometimes it does feel um, really scary whatever we're being told um, when it sort of resonates with my guts what my guts have been telling me then I feel like okay at the end of all this there must be some sort of sort of hope um, however it is is heavy and um, you know I went to the shops yesterday um, just to the supermarket to get some food and and it doesn't really matter whether you, you choose to wear a mask or you choose not to wear a mask. The whole experience is extremely scary and heavy. There's a tension in the air that is so palpable. Anyhow, um, so for me, um, I've, what I suppose I've tried to do, and again, I'm just sharing this as this is what I've chosen to do and it may not be right for other people but I just thought I'd share um, is I make sure that I carve out in my day lots of times to do something fun or joyful or relaxing and probably all of the above um, whatever it may be nobody is to judge what that is for you just you know sitting down and knitting a jumper or just sitting down and staring out the window putting on loud music eating chocolate um, dancing around the kitchen table is one of my favorites going for long walks in the countryside and I know I'm very lucky where I live um, but that has just kept me grounded that has just kept me balanced so that I can still listen to the research, I can still even actually hear what the latest regulation is without getting overwhelmed. The other things that I, I have found helpful um, are breathing, just taking deep breaths regularly throughout the day has just helped enormously. Um, I'm trying to think, think of things as well that are good for the children because that's what bothers me the most is what's happening to the children and I and I maybe we can just find fun ways for them to do it but all my children are growing up now but but um, I'm sure we can find fun ways to help children to breathe deeply, do yoga type exercises, anything that just um, lifts their spirits. And I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but, but I, I'm not ashamed to, to plug um, emotional freedom technique. Look it up, it's dead simple. Yes, I work as a therapist. I, I, I treat people, but it's a self-help tool anybody can do it the children can do it and it truly five ten minutes of tapping however bizarre it may seem can really lift their spirits can just move them through whatever dark emotion all of us are going through um, meditation I meditate 
every day and um, some days it's hard um, but I keep doing it and I, I believe that the cumulative effects are helping because I am feeling a lot calmer um, and I don't don't get me wrong I have have dark days where I feel immensely sad I think sadness is my greatest feeling sadness I just feel hugely sad I'm not frightened I think this is I suppose for me it's I feel it's largely to do with my relationship with death I think if we can come to terms with our mortality then that helps us to choose calmly how we want to live our lives. I don't know. I just don't. I don't want to sound preachy, and I don't want to sound like I've got all the answers. But I just thought I'd share. If if this helps, then um, certainly all I can say is listening to you all has helped me. Um, okay, I better shut up now. All the best. Bye bye.